Hello everybody, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. For all uh, our new visitors who are just dropping by for the first time, welcome. Thank you for visiting this channel. I would greatly appreciate you all subscribing, of course, and also giving me a thumbs up. And uh, hopefully you will also have an opportunity to join us on our live streams, which I have every Friday at 7 p.m. Um, that will be 1900 hours Central Standard Time. So every Friday there is a live stream. Uh, sometimes the subject matter it will be posted ahead. Other times we just go with the flow. So hopefully you have the opportunity to join us then too. And to all my regular viewers, my subscribers, to the real family, thank you so much again for joining me. I do appreciate you all. And I have to say, thank you so, so much for your kind words, sending me positive energy and for your prayers and for your thoughts. I'm telling you guys, I really, really feel that because of all that positive energy I got from you guys, I feel that I have been able to recover uh sooner than i expected because as you all know the past few days it was i was like so out of it and this morning i feel like i turned the corner uh i was actually thinking too i was like okay if i don't feel i'm going to give it today and if i don't feel any better then tomorrow i'm going back to the doctor and saying look you better do something because i don't want to be ill i don't like being ill i can't afford to be ill and i got things to do with my life like come on you know, put me on the right track here, okay? I got stuff to do. I don't have time for being sick, <laughs> you know? But uh, this morning, I feel like I kind of turned the corner, y'all. I really did. Uh, I'm still, of course, you know, a little bit of all that sinus and that nasal drip and that congestion. My cough has subsided by a lot, actually. Um, and here's a funny thing, y'all. I wanted to share with y'all. Uh, because a lot of you have said that it could be COVID too, right? And I did share that I'm fully vaccinated, but that doesn't mean that I'm going, I'm 100% uh, protected, right? So I was looking up the symptoms and I kind of flipped out to, and I didn't mention it in the last video is on my elbows right over here. I don't know if you can see it here though. I don't know if you can see here this part. Can you see? I don't know, I, yeah, look at me, like sticking my elbow in the camera and saying, look at my elbow. It's so weird, like both these elbows, I started getting an itch and I thought, oh, and remember we were talking about ashy elbows because I keep my hands like this. I mean, I, I know what to do for it. It's like, how do I prevent keeping my elbows on the table like this, right? That's the biggest thing. So I was like, oh, maybe I put, you know, scrubbed a little hard or whatever you know and then put lotion sometimes if you scrub a little hard you have sensitive skin that could kind of exasperate things then i was like no that you should settle down right then i thought maybe mosquito bit me and i was like how can a mosquito bite like both elbows you know weird stuff like that and so when i actually got up to the mirror and i was like what is this see even here you can see a little bit of redness i flipped out because they were saying with covid there are some weird rashes you get and I was like, okay, this is crazy. So, anywho, um, the the migraine isn't as bad as, and I used to suffer terrible migraines, so it's not as bad. The sinus, though, it's just like this part of it, right? You can feel it. I'm definitely feeling like I turned the corner this morning. I, 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 I don't know how to say it. I'm still a bit out of breath. And another thing that was so weird was, when I have to cough, if I'm sitting like this or if I'm standing and I cough, all of this, my chest and everything, like would hurt so bad. But if I kind of bend over like this a little bit and cough, it wouldn't hurt as bad. Don't ask me why. It's the weirdest stuff. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? So, uh, oh, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Like I said, I got my box of tissues over here and I got my, um, the, the sanitary, uh, what do you call, um, I, what's it called, antibacterial wipes, etc. 
and I'm one of those people who actually likes the smell or the scent of those uh, because it's, it, I'm not addicted to it where I have to spray my whole house with it. But when you open it and you use it, like I don't turn my face away, although the fumes can be a little bit strong, but I feel like it genuinely makes me feel like, uh, oh, things are clean. I think it's a psychological thing. Maybe that's why they put those, whatever they put in it, chemicals can't be good for us. But anyway, so I'm all set to get on with it. There's one more thing I wanted to say is I'm first going to do this for Gabby. I'm very, very curious to know what the autopsy results would be because I feel like what I experienced, and I've said this many a time, and a lot of you folks who are psychics and mediums, etc., you all know, right? How we take on, we absorb the energy, right? And how we actually physically feel what they're going through we are able to sense, we are able to think. And yes, you take precautions, yes, you do all those things, you say your prayers, you do your cleansing thing procedure, you take a cleansing bath, actually a shower, you don't soak in the bathtub though. Um, and you know, I did that, that was like a normal routine for me and nothing new and I went to bed and, uh, and then to have all this like literally overnight as I was sleeping for the energy to kind of really take such a grip on me I feel like what I was feeling, like how my legs were hurting below my knees that I almost buckled and like fell and it's the weirdest thing, your legs below your knees, both legs would hurt. That's a weird kind of pain I've never experienced. I do have a bad knee, meniscus and this and that, of course, all because of, you know, years and years of whatever, athletic, whatever stuff. But it wasn't my knees that were hurting, it was my legs. And that was the weirdest thing. And how I feel, like remember I explained and I said, I almost feel like my body was thrown in a blender and it was all like kind of, you know, how you feel bruised and how you feel hurt. Like literally bruised. I, that's what I was feeling. So I was just thinking, I was like, I wonder what, what I was sensing and that the, the, the hurt that I was feeling is what she went through in her last moments. So I'm very, very curious to know what the autopsy results say in terms of um, her injuries. Um, so I'm like, you know, it's just crazy, man. I mean, <sighs> Oh my God. And I was doing the general energy reading. I just posted it for all sun signs for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I forgot to say happy birthday to everybody on that though. Uh, so happy birthday to all of y'all who are celebrating your birthdays on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Gabby kept knocking on the door. She's like, okay, come on, come on. I actually first wanted to do a video for Barry Morphew and then Gabby. But she's like being very insistent. So I'm going to do a quick reading for Gabby um, just to see where we are at. Okay. And then we we'll take it uh, forward if there's a need to do anything extra or pull, however long it takes. Oh, guys, I forgot. Somebody sent me an email saying that there is some something going around on the internet where some channel and i'm so sorry i should know the channel's name um or was it on the news or on the channel or somebody's channel where you know where they found their vehicle abandoned in the park like some other people were traveling they they're just driving and their cap their camera captured the same van parked on the side of the trail. They're saying that there was some logs over there and then there was something that looked like sonographs. And I saw the clip though, but I couldn't really tell clearly. Like you can't really see the fetus per se, but it did look like a sonograph. I mean, that's the first thing that would come to mind. But then again, it could be anything else too. 
And somebody was saying maybe there were mild markers or some markers of some sort. I don't think markers would be like that. You know? <coughs> mild markers or markers for campsites or whatever. They'd have a different, they'd be painted different or something. No, it didn't look like that to me. So which leads me to believe, <coughs> excuse me, maybe she was pregnant, maybe she just found out. Remember I said that either she was pregnant or she thought she was pregnant and it's confirmed. So scary man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So thank you guys for sharing all that information. Oh my God. Yes, y'all, pregnancy. Uh, the sun card is usually the child. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is two? The two is a high priestess, right? So it's something that remains hidden for a period of time, right? The high priestess. High priestess, usually she doesn't come right out and she doesn't tell you everything. She always watches and waits. She always knows when to say, what to say and how to say it, what are the circumstances. She'll weigh the pros and cons and then she comes out and makes statements. That's her gift. Diplomacy, having that fortitude and that foresight to know when to hush and when to not. So I have a feeling Gabby knew she was pregnant. She was happy about it, but I don't think Ding Dong Ding Along was. And so Gabby was thinking about what to do about this, what to do about this. Remember I also said that they called truce, but she knew it wasn't truce. So I think she had decided when they come home that she was going to take a step back from this relationship to reconfigure, go back to the drawing board, figure out what she wanted to do. And her intention was to do that, like take a step back and say, I need a little bit of time and space, I need to think things through. Ah, oh, yeah. I also feel like that there's a lot of severe trauma to this part of her face. A lot of trauma there. Remember I said a blunt force trauma, like from the side coming forward, I felt that, but even this part of her face, I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if they're shattered bones of the skulls, shattered or whatever. Oh, good Lord, look at that, y'all, look at that. Like, how do the cards, like, come out like that? Look, we have Leo, okay? So we have this and this, okay? Then we have this and this, okay? And then we have this and this. So, let's do this. Right? So with the Leo card, again, you know, it beads. The sun rules Leo. Um, the eighth month, August, a significant month for her in her life. And then you have Uranus under the lover's card. And Uranus rules Aquarius, okay? sudden changes and shocks. So there was definitely a sudden change and a sudden shock to her with regards to the relationship. I am going to stick by and say, I think she found out that there was somebody else in what's his name's life. 
that he may have been talking to or whatever and she got very distraught because she's like holy moly I am pregnant or I think I'm pregnant and now I come to find out you're going on with somebody else so all this is a big lie it's such a shock and the, the uh, high priestess is ruled by the moon and then we have the cancer card which is also ruled by the moon and it's water so she I feel like was completely emotionally broke down completely emotionally broke down because she's like what do I do now she was so vested in him in their relationship than he ever was I'm telling you from the very beginning I don't think he really was all that he made out to be like he was in the relationship okay He was like, yeah, okay, fine. You know, she is, uh, I'm going to say this. I think Gabby is the one who first approached him. Gabby is the one who first approached him. I don't think he hit on her first, however they met. I think she approached him and he's like, oh, this hot chick, look at her. Well, she wants me. Well, okay, fine, I'll play along. That's how it started. From the very beginning, she was more vested in this in him and the relationship than he was. She spoke to somebody about this. She has spoken to somebody about it and asking them for advice. What do you think? I, she didn't tell this individual. I want to say it's her peer, peer group. She didn't tell this individual the extent of what was going on. Like whether she thought she was pregnant or she was pregnant. She, I don't think she shared that. But she was like, you know, I was just thinking about it. Maybe I'm going to come home and maybe I'm going to take a step back from this relationship and see how it goes. And this peer who is either same age family member or a friend was shocked that Gabby was saying this and I'm going to say this is a female, is it a female or a male? Male. Is it a female or a male? Male that she discussed this and this peer is like well I'm shocked but you know you do what you need to very supportive but I don't think she discussed the extent of what was really going on okay I'm telling y'all y'all if they don't find that fellow within the next like I said the other day right the next 10 days or whatever the 13 days period, they'll never find him. He'll be gone. I also feel that law enforcement should have acted a little bit faster. They should have had eyes on him. Yeah, I understand the legalities, right? You can't go at somebody and say, oh, you're a, you're a suspect. You know, there's a legalities between when you use the word suspect as opposed to person of interest. Right? I understand that part of it. How come the law enforcement didn't have eyes on uh, Ding Dong? They could have put a, put a tail on him without them even knowing. There is no need for them, legally speaking, to give an explanation or whatever in having surveillance on somebody. Yeah, of course, they'll have to get their chief police chief to say, okay, go ahead. But they put surveillance on people for far less crimes or suspicions. Why couldn't they get a surveillance on him? How did he slip through the cracks? So that part of it, I think law enforcement needs to take responsibility for 
Like how do you not put surveillance on the house? If you had really put surveillance on the house, if you guys had really had your eyes on him, he would not have slipped out. Or is law enforcement hiding something? Because somebody said that his mom used to work for the DA. So are strings being pulled? You know how they say you pull strings and try to get uh, some assistance? I don't think so, but uh, who's to say these days? Money has been exchanged. Lot of money has been shelled out. So I have uh, three is a crowd in the reverse. Okay, three is a crowd, a rival, a uh, bothersome company in the reverse. Then I have purse, wallet, stable money upright. Then I have horse and cart and cloud field in the reverse. Then I have exchanging of funds and then I have business partnership and handshakes. So, like I said, two other people are going to be pulled into the net. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> this three has been popping up so consistently in all of our readings. From the very first reading I said three people, Gabby and two others. Three over here, when I did the reading as to how many people are going to fall into the dragnet, it's three, it's three again. But this threesome is kind of, cracks are showing up. So I feel like this threesome could be, what's his face, his name, Ding Dong, Ding Along and his parents. I think cracks are showing up. I think between the two of them, the parents, I think they're going to kind of crack. I will tell you this. The mother is a lot, lot stronger than the father. Somebody has to ring the bell, right? Hang on, just a second, okay, I'll be right back. Sorry y'all, there was some delivery package. I don't even know what it is. I couldn't even understand what he was saying. Oh, this is not for me. Oh, never mind, it's gonna go. So, the threesome over there, the three musketeers, Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Hang on, hang on. He didn't even know who he was delivering it to. I was like, just give me the package, I got things to do. It wasn't me and yeah. The mother is a strong character, very strong, very manipulative. I almost, the father's smart too. Father's not a cakewalker, I mean, he's not a doormat either. But it's a mother who runs the family. Uh, this is, this family unit is like the Chris Watts family unit. Chris and his parents and his sister, the same dynamics here. I wonder if they share some DNA, ding dongs. So mad at them. Lot of money is being spent by that family. Exchanging, money is changing hands. Money is being invested. 
money is being moved for safekeeping assets are being moved for safekeeping there's a lot that's going on over there because they don't want anybody to go after them with a civil lawsuit which is going to happen so they're trying to limit how much they can get out of the laundry family in a civil lawsuit so they're moving around their assets so as far as the horse and cart you know how they say don't put the cart before the horse uh, that's exactly what they're doing that's going to backfire on them substantial money is being paid to the attorney attorney fees you've got to pay them they won't they won't even answer your phone call if you don't pay right that's that's the nature of their job substantial money is being paid to certain other people to keep quiet which leads me to be believe remember i said he went for a walk in the woods and he just kept walking right to safer grounds somebody has assisted him then we have business partnerships and handshakes so i would be pretty if i was law enforcement and if i had the authority to do that i would look at the close business associates of this family i don't know what job the father does i would look at his business associates to see if anybody has assisted them unbeknownst to what was going on like for example hey uh i we we were planning on going for a getaway i remember you said you have a hunting lodge in georgia <coughs> can we just get away briefly Oh yeah, sure. You know, go to that particular town, go to that particular local grocery store. I'll call them and tell them because the local grocery stores, you know, uh, um, owner's wife, you know, those little countryside grocery stores, farm to table kind of thing. Those farmers have their produce and on their own grocery store. She maybe does housekeeping for this fellow's hunting lodge or whatever. I let them know that you're going to be there on such and such a day, or so and so is going to be there to give you the keys so you can go shack up there for a couple of days. So maybe in that way that they might have assisted, not necessarily realizing what they were doing. So they are not going to be held accountable or like an aiding and abetting, but they better hustle and come forth and tell them because if they don't, then that would be harboring. a person of uh, interest or a uh, criminal i'm telling you he is no more a person of interest he never was now in my opinion he's a fugitive i don't know i don't know what's going on with uh, lot of reversals wow So all this bad decisions uh that they have made is all kind of backfiring it's going to backfire chapel fertility bed there is definitely a little bit of a disintegration as far as the fathers and mothers relationship because of this the lovers a couple the joy the affection the romance the togetherness shaken up three is a crowd make peace a rival bothersome company there is definitely a third person involved so i wouldn't be surprised if brian landry had that little thing going on with this other female why i'm going to still say is somebody he's known 
since he was a child, maybe grown up together. And you have that horse and cart again. They have a long road ahead of them, yeah, these people. This Lundry family, they have a long road. This case is resolved really quickly in terms of how soon they were able to find her and, you know, I mean, come on, how soon were they able to find her? Isn't that crazy? Like, I'm blown away by how soon they were able to, and I did say that from the very beginning. But in terms of criminally, legally, how and who's going to be held responsible, it's a long battle. I wouldn't be surprised if the Lundry family do decide to up and go. They will also relocate. They will definitely relocate. You know, because they're basically criminals and they're scaredy cats. So they are going to relocate. I wouldn't be surprised if they put their house on the market and just make it a trust fund type of thing, put the house on the market, sell it, so that nobody can go after the trust, you know, all those financial legal loopholes. Three of swords. Father and mother may decide to divorce so that they will not have to testify against each other. Lundry's father and mother. Five of wands, a lot of challenges and obstacles. Somebody's life was threatened again. You better shut up or I'm going to be done with you. Nine of wands. is somebody taking spirited action saying to heck with it i'm going to go forth with it i'm going to i'm going to take action i'm not afraid i'm going to go forth with this and i'm going to take action i want to know whose life was threatened whose life was threatened not talking about gabby but somebody else among the people who helped lundry in that group Judgment. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm saying it, y'all. I'm calling it. We have the judgment card and then we have the six of pentacles. So with the judgment card, I'm definitely going to say that Whosever life was threatened, that's going to come forth in the wash of things. And uh, there is going to be judgment received on that end, meaning that for threatening to take somebody's life, they are also going to end up having to serve time for that. I wouldn't be surprised if the attorney's life was threatened. There is going to be a change in the attorneys themselves, where they're going to say, I cannot handle this case anymore, I want out of it. Something really, really deep over there. And then you have the Six of Pentacles, um, a lot of money giving and taking, a lot of money giving and taking, generosity, being overly generous. I almost feel like somebody's got dirt on the attorney and saying, if you don't do this for us, we're going to throw that dirt out in the public and you're basically going to lose your license. I wouldn't be surprised if the attorney, whoever the attorney is or the law firm that is helping the Lundry family, they are going to change hands. Ooh, they even went after the attorneys. What the hell is it? This family? This is a crazy family, y'all. This is like a freaking crazy family. Seven of uh, seven of uh, wands. They're all about wanting to protect themselves against the outside world. Oh my goodness, this family is a freaking psycho, man. You see how his sister is keeping a low profile? 
Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. So with the Ten of Pentacles is definitely a completion of a circle and Ace of Swords it's like uh, Ten of Pentacles, let me re rephrase that. Ten of Pentacles is legacy, it's that old money, the family money, that the whole family unity, all that stuff and then the Ace of Swords is like uh, surgery, chop, eliminate. So that whole family unit per se has will be completely eliminated, will disintegrate. Gabby's parents are not going to let this go. However many years they will fight. For them it's it's beyond money. It's not that you want compensation. They feel that if his parents had come forth, that's all they're saying. All we need to know is why, what happened. If you had come forth and told us that yes, he did it, you know, moment of passion, whatever may have been the case, he did it. We ourselves would have supported and say shit happens, pardon my language. We would also put in a recommendation for a more lenient sentence. That's how Gabby's family is thinking. They may not say it, but for them it's all about closure. Just tell us what we need to know. We need to know what really happened. But now since this family has not cooperated, the Lundry family, Gabby's family are saying, screw you guys, watch. Four of Pentacles, they are holding on desperately, holding on to control, holding on desperately, trying not to lose it. They don't have it, they're going to lose it. Seven of Wands and King of Swords. Seven of Wands again is holding on desperately, trying to protect themselves against public. And the King of Swords is like, uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, the judge is going to go after them. I mean, that it's if if they do get what's his face his name, and they do bring him in, he's going to get the death sentence. I doubt if they will be able to recover him. But if they do, doesn't it even look like him, London? If they miracle of miracles find him and bring him in, hundred percent he's getting the death sentence. Hundred percent. But within the next few days, like I said, 13 days from whenever I said that, whichever day, is a brief period of window. If they don't bring him in, if they don't find him, they'll never get him. That's it. See? Same card. If they bring him in, he's going to get the death penalty. They're still searching for him. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is about waiting for results, uh, making choices regarding travel or his travel, however he traveled. And then the King of Wands is wanting to take action. The King of Wands is having the courage to go after and saying, let's do it. The police chief is giving them a little bit of a help over there, saying that, let's go find this fellow. Well, he didn't say fellow. He said F-U-C-K-E-R, basically. Uh, so, I'm again going to say, animal scat is what is going to lead them to this kind of a cave type of a situation or setting and that's where they're going to either find him or find evidence of him. Mountain lion or whatever animal scat type of thing. Bear or whatever. Queen of Swords, yeah. Ten of Cups. King of Pentacles. So with the Queen of Swords, I'm going to say that yes, 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 yes. 
Three people, three people, again the same three people. Ten of Cups is intense emotions, very highly emotional at the moment, very emotional. And with the King of Pentacles, a lot of money is being spent also because they don't know what else to do. They're like, we keep throwing money and hoping everything is going to go away. No, it's not. The sister is also going to be raped in for obstruction of justice or some stuff, but she's going to get away with a lesser charge. I'm going to stop now, okay? Because I've just completely lost her energy, so there's no point in going on and on. We'll do more, of course, you know, um, as and when, you know, she's knocking on the door and she says, let me in, let me in. I mean, like, you know, she has something to say. We'll, we'll look at it. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.